that'll always fix any problems you have. <laughs> and if not, you need a new controller. Mm. Mm -hmm. But here we go. No button issues this time. You think? Oh, yeah, definitely yeah. not. Mr. Fahrenheit is locked into this combo by Reed. Yeah, Reed coming out hot, showing off what these uh, Mithra combos are all about, but Reed out there on his own. Roy infamous for like his combos that will not only combo you up, but take you to the edge and kill you with a side beat. People like to downplay how good Roy is, I think. Mm. This character is still insane. Oh! But so is that spike! Good gracious. Yeah, but you know who's higher on the tier list? Pyra Mithra. That, that was crazy, a crazy spike coming out from Reed to kind of call out Fahrenheit's recovery there, which could be super hard to do from, for Roy, but Fahrenheit definitely recovered a bit lower than he would have liked to there, causing him to have that frame. Not where he's quite grabbing ledge, but where he's floating to it. What a pivot grab there, and Mr. Fahrenheit's just locked in there. And you know, Roy is fast, but not fast enough to punish that down air. Yeah. And Reed showing what this uh, side beef, oh my god. It's like I'm watching he, him play helper again. He's so good at that. <laughs> he's so good at hitting side beef. <laughs> it's the only move he needs. Yeah. Oh, looking for the two frame again on Fahrenheit. Not going to find it. Oh, maybe switching to Mithra to find this up B off stage again. A little sneaky. Ooh. Oh, he held that down smash. Mm. All right. Pretty oh much free recovery there. Mr. Fahrenheit just locked in shield, being like, I can't get hit. Not by this, but we can't get hit either. Fahrenheit oh. going off so low. Scares him off, scares him off. And Reed, you know, Fahrenheit's at 143, opting to go into Mithra here, back to Pyra, looking for an up air probably, not going to find it. Reed's just going to have to rely on these disjoints here just to keep Mr. Fahrenheit out. Uh-oh. Oh, the jab, going to take it from him. And now Reed literally up a whole stock. Mr. Fahrenheit just closed his eyes for a second. He's like, fighting this character is arduous. Mm. Fighting this character is arduous, especially when you could just get taken to 40 in like an instant uh, from Mithra. Oh, stop finds running in. Stop Great. getting hit. That was an awesome pivot grab off the footstool from the side beat. All right, just a little too slow on that reaction, though, for that turnaround grab. Oh, my gosh. And again, off stage. Ooh, yeah. risky Reed. flame Nova there from Reed, but, you know, doing a good job with just keeping Mr. Fahrenheit out. Going low. Yeah, Reed definitely <gasps> feels oh, oh my god. Oh my god! Yes! That was sick! That was sick! Yo, run that clip back! I love when people do sick sick stuff. That was so sick. Yeah, if we like, you know, slow this down, exactly what happened here. He bounced oh. off footstool, read the down air, and then finally oh. an up air to close that stock. Just great stuff there because Mr. Fahrenheit was pretty much scared at that moment. That is unreal. That was unreal. That I was mean, unreal. That was so the, good. When you're at that last stock and you're just trying to get out of the vortex, you will panic like just to get back to center stage. Yeah, hitting hitting the footstool, like like wait like waiting for him to be sent, then hitting the footstool above the platform to find the tech chase down air. And then you're on the platform, so you hit the up air, and he's for sure dead. That was that was something else. Now, I don't know why Mr. Fahrenheit took Reed here, because, listen, this is a bigger platform. Mm. Reed can do it again. But, you know, Town & City was banned. Same with FT. And he never wanted to take Roy to Town & City. No. The small blast ones on the side. It's death. Yeah, absolutely. Never take Roy. To Everybody knows this. Everybody knows never take Roy to town and city. Hey, I learned the hard way. It's so like the Reed knows this lesson already. <laughs> the 65. Again? Oh, but didn't quite find the sweet spot. That's oh just my a bigger gosh. platform to do it on. Oh, okay. Not forward smash. You do have a throw though. Not taking Roy to town and city is like making uh it's like this diner makes coke. This 65-year-old diner makes coke the old-fashioned way. Coke the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Honestly, if you've never had Coke the old-fashioned way, you're missing out. Yeah. Oh, looking for the falling up air. Didn't find it, but will find the back air. That looks deceivingly like a down air from Pyra. It always throws me for a loop a little bit. Well, Reed is doing a good job of baiting Mr. Fahrenheit to be like, okay, I'm throwing out these moves, and you think it's safe to come in, mm. and it never is. Oh, you got you got to edge gotta guard come. the Mithra side B. That's the second time we've seen today Mithra side B. Deep off stage, no jump and no punish coming out, but finding the punish finally takes the stock and this game is much more even than the last so far. Both of them are fighting for control of this middle platform. Mr. Feinheit finally finds a way in, but can he stay in? All right, we got some up airs here. Ooh, I thought a side B was coming, but not Ooh. quite from Fahrenheit. This is the grab, mm. jab, jair. Oh boy. Nair one, jab, back air. Sheesh, looking clean. 
You always have to remember that that little spinning attack has a bigger hitbox there at the end. And no, he air dodges no. in and misses no. the ledge. You were doing so well, Fahrenheit. You were doing so well. Oh. Look, nobody can stop Mr. Fahrenheit like quite like himself. <laughs> All right, but this go. is even stocks. There Mr. Fahrenheit did lose that second stock pretty early, but can bring this back. Roy's an explosive character. I mean, look at this damage. Look at this ledge trapping. But Reed is back on center stage below the platform. And Mithra, well, pretty much a combo goddess herself. Yeah. Fahrenheit's locked in. I believe in him. He's been he's definitely been winning this game so far. A miss input there on the buffered air dodge, but he can he can bring it he, he has brought it back and I think he could take this game, sending us to game three, but Reed trying to do everything he can to stop that from happening. Ooh. It's so hard when you just have so many hitboxes flying around. Ooh, you don't have to be as precise as either Martha or Lucina, but Roy still needs to find a way in. Yeah, these side Bs from Pyra are no longer working out. They were last game. Fahrenheit made the adjustment, and now it seems like every time Reed's throwing them out, he's getting punished. Okay. Okay, doing a good job staying away from that. Oh, that's it. There it is. There it is. Fahrenheit has the download on those. Oh, you're Oh, dead. you know what? It's okay. SD Mr. Fahrenheit. SD. Yeah, SD yeah. for SD. Yes, yes. So why it has to be a Game 3 situation now. Was it even a homie stock? Oh, it yeah. could have been. Yeah. Could have been. Yeah. No, no, he's shaking his head. Not not a homie stock. <laughs> yeah. The last stock of game two. I don't know. Like, listen, man, yeah. it would have been a closer game. <laughs> yeah. But no FD, no Kalos. Oh, mm. God. Are we really going town and city? No. Battlefield. Battlefield. All right. Not too shabby. Lots of platforms for Pirate Mithra to harass Mr. Fahrenheit under. Why, Why wouldn't you go town and city? I feel like we've been it's seeing Roy. mostly Pyra. Oh, oh, you're right. Fahrenheit yeah. just won. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. Don't be tweaking. I'm tweaking. All right, let's go. Fahrenheit coming out of the gate. Hot, looking for a falling up air. Not going to find it. And now uh, Mithra gets to do her thing. All right, we're oh. not going to be a spike there. We just need as Punish much damage that. as possible. Don't Good. let Roy recover semi-high and then, and then let him grab ledge for free. Come on, down tilt him. Do something. Anything. Yeah. It looks like... Reed is doing anything to land. Gets it. Oh, my uh, God. The foresight. Avoid the dancing blade damage. It's a lot like Bayonetta's Witch Time, where it's like, you're just like, man. Uh-oh. This could be curtains. Oh, good great work. Great edge guarding. Yes. Yes, great edge guarding. I, I hate foresight. That's, it's like it's like Bayonetta's bats, but like 200 times better. Because you, you literally get like punished for hitting your move on what normally on every other character in the game would hit. It's all right. Just have to bait it out. Go for those grabs. Yeah. And Reed, oh! oh! Mr. Fahrenheit <laughs> falls out of it, but then into, well, on the bottom gets into it. Fool me once, can't get fooled again. He's able to find that up smash. And now, uh, I'd say this game is even because we're about to see him get taken to 54. But Mr. Fahrenheit knows what to do now. Once once Reed is off stage, he has to keep that pressure up and there not it is. stop. 54. Look at that. 62. 68. Oh I can count too. No. <laughs> Only I can count. It's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like a like a kindergartner's argument. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the hitbox just staying out a second longer than Re uh, than uh, Fahrenheit hoped it would. Getting hit. Oh my gosh. Reed throwing out this pirate side B like it's his job. But we saw Fahrenheit get the download last game and was punishing it hard. It looks like he's in the same zone. Hasn't really gotten hit by it yet. Reed is pretty safe there on that top platform until Mr. Fahrenheit chases. And while Roy does have really good mobility on the ground, not so much in the air. This is within 0.1% right now. Never mind. Oh, jab to back air. Not enough. You know, the, the Pyro is out. So a little heavier than Mithra uh -oh. are going to keep him keep in the game. We do have these disjoints coming out, though. Mm. And Mr. Fahrenheit getting a little scared. Trying to edge guard low. But Reed is going on high. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Ooh, oh he's and that's dead. it. Yeah, yeah he's dead. there's no way that down tilt just sent him flying a little too far. Yeah. Reed has to secure this kill probably in the next 10%. Yeah, and Fahrenheit was on that air dodge, but just didn't get the punish he was looking for. And now Reed doing everything he can, looking for these down airs into maybe an up air and maybe an up smash. But Fahrenheit is well aware of what he's looking for right now. Uh-oh, this is the grab. Not the opportunity that Reed wanted. Oh, uh -oh. that was uh -oh. a risky forward smash. Yeah, and that risk did not pay off. Oh, he's dead. It falls right into his own forward smash. Mm -hmm. That was clean from Fahrenheit. Game, we literally saw him get kind of cooked game one. Quick download. Takes games two and three, but my gosh. Reed just throwing out that side B, games two and three. I think Fahrenheit got hit 
by it like twice between those two games and was punishing him for using that like crazy. His punish game was just so much better that game three, mm -hmm. and I think it's because he realized I can afford to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. While in game one, he was a little afraid to really commit, and yeah. he was just respecting those disjoints a bit too much. But once he found those openings, like, okay, I can shield that down there, I can go in, especially if you're gonna land on these platforms. But of course, the punish game for me just as hard, so it's really tit for tat. But realizing that, hey, Nice. Oh, there we go. Double down tilt. Yeah. And that was just really smart, Mr. Varanet, being like, I don't need to overextend. I don't need to go for a trump. I just need to go for these down tilts and get you away. Your recovery is not that good. Yeah, absolutely. And now, uh, Fahrenheit moves on to play Slade. Ooh, that's going to be a great match. And it looks like we do have Helper versus Steelix first. Yippee. What do you think about this one? Who does Steelix play again? Steelix plays a character in Smash Brothers. Steelix. Ultimate. Steelix, the Pokemon. Ah, yes, yes. I don't think he plays PT, but we'll figure it out here in a second. It's Falco. A, oh, he plays Falco. Falco. All right. Oh. You know what bonds melee players and ultimate players together? Falco. Our